G'day Trailblazers, my name is Cam, and for today's video I'll be going through the brand new Einstein Generative AI features in Einstein Copy Insights in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. So the Marketing Cloud Einstein Generative AI is a brand new feature in the Winter 24 release notes. I'll put a link to the notes in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. But for today, let's jump into Marketing Cloud, make sure the feature is turned on, and I'll step through how you can use it and set up your very own custom brand personalities. So the first thing to do is jump into our setup screen in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Once there, you can navigate to the platform tools and under the Einstein header, you'll find the Einstein Copy Insights. Now for Copy Insights to be activated, you will have to have a corporate or enterprise edition of Marketing Cloud. You can check in with your account executive to see if you have those versions. Once there, you can click on the enable function. Once the prompt pops up here, we can then accept the terms and move on to see our brand new feature. So as you can see, we now have it turned on and I can see my main settings are here with my standard brand personalities being professional and casual. I can't edit these just yet until I go in and modify my settings with the edit button. Once there, I can put in my own brand identity as well as set up additional personalities. I can also select a default if I want to make sure that all my users see the casual or professional or custom one by default. But for now, let's cancel that and jump straight into Content Builder and try this feature out for ourselves. So over in Content Builder, of course navigating there by going to our Content Builder and Content Builder menu, I can make myself a brand new email. Let's go create new email message. Choose to use a brand new blank template, so it's nice and simple. That, let's go Generative AI test. All right, we'll leave the rest of that as it is and go next. So in our email here, we can now go in and start to play with our two new features, our subject line and body content generation. Let's start off with the subject line. So I can jump onto the top of my email here on subject line, click, I can see straight away my brand new create option is here. I left click on the create button, it pops up my brand new window. I can play with this new tool. So what do we have? We have the ability to put in a key message, a message that describes the email, all right? We can choose our brand identity, our personality here being professional or casual, I can go and make some more later on. And a sample subject line as well with no end script to give the AI a bit of an idea what we're trying to do, as well as a disclaimer, which of course we'll tick in a second. So let's give this a try, and why don't we use our Northern Trail Outfitters as an example. Of course, being a hiking and trekking brand, let's do a key message about maybe a newsletter for the MTO. So this is a newsletter, email about a new range of camping gear for the winter, the winter release, winter season. All right, that's the key message, uh, limited stock, hurry. All right, now a simple subject line could be what could it be for our brand new camping range? How about new tents and hiking gear now out at NTO, see in store. That's not a bad subject line. Let's have a look and see what the AI thinks. We'll say, got it, I understand the disclaimer. Let's now create our brand new subject line with the create button. Let's see what comes back. All right, get ready for winter camping with our new range of gear. That's pretty good. Limited stock alert, winter camping available. Good, don't miss out on our new camping gear. Stay warm and cozy this winter with our latest camping gear. Is it pretty good? Is that pretty good? I think get ready for winter is a real call of action one. So I'm gonna say yes, that one's pretty good. Now I think we can also give some feedback here to say yes, we did like that subject one. That was a good one. We can say stay warm and cozy. That was pretty good too. You know, there's actually a few good ones here. So once we've chosen our subject line, we can then press the add subject line button, which then copies that text straight into our subject line. How good. So with our subject line complete, let's now jump in and try the body copy out. We can do our body copy by dragging a brand new text block onto our main content piece here. We can have a look at our brand new create function at the bottom of our module. So go create, let's now create or generate some body copy. Now, same thing again, what is the key message of this email? Well, my key message was new winter camping and hiking gear out now, limited stock buy in store. 
Now, personally, this time, let's try from professional. Let's go to more casual. Now, some simple copy could be what for our email? Well, how about there is no better time to be out camping? Exclamation mark. New gear has just dropped in store. We'll try with that and see what it thinks. Now for our disclaimer, let's go got it. We know we're going to be doing some generation and let's go create and see what comes back. It's a pretty short sample prompt and a pretty short key message. Let's see what the AI thinks. Very nice. All right, winter camping and hiking enthusiasts get ready for a treat. All right, are you planning winter camping? Wow. That is really impressive. All right, let's choose that first one for now and we'll go and insert that body copy. And there it is. Now, of course, I've got no styling. I've got no CSS put around this at the moment. But if I did have this in one of my existing library content pieces, for example, if I'd used a layout to drop and put this in for myself, I could have copied this text. And it could have, in fact, been inside of one of my modules just like that. And of course, if my template wasn't just the blank template, but had some more styling, that could look very nice indeed. Wow, you could make emails really quickly this way. I like it. So let's try one more generation. I'll jump back into that text block and let's remove that previous content and let's make a brand new one. Now let's do a different prompt this time. We did say the key message was the winter gear. We could say this time, how about a we miss you style content? We could put some AM script around this to detect if the customer has not shopped in the last 30 or 90 days, we could put a key message of it's been a while, why don't you come back in? So how about, um, we haven't seen you for a while. Here is a great deal for you. All right, some copy could be, it's been a while since your last visit in store. We'd love to see you come back in and check out our new gear. Exclamation mark. All right, let's try that. This time we'll go professional again. We'll go got it. Let's recreate some brand new body content for our email. All right, so we could use this one as a come back and see us. Greetings. Okay, this is more of a, a start of the email thing. Hi there, D Valley customer. Okay, it's more of an intro paragraph. So how about we say, greetings, we find you well. Let's try the key message again. Let's change it to say, uh, re-engagement message at the footer of the email saying, we haven't seen you for a while. It's a great deal for you. All right, let's try that out. We'll just change the prompt slightly and say it's a re-engagement message at the footer of the email. So hopefully we don't have this high and hope this email finds you well. Let's see what it does now. We already have our intro copy. We now want some additional copy. There we go. We noticed it's been a while since you last visited. We wanted to remind you, there we go. So a little prompt there to change it from the head to the footer. Say it's not the intro paragraph. It's actually gonna be lower down the email. Now, of course, the generative AI didn't know that. It just knew that it was a text block. We had to tell it this was not going to be the first paragraph our customers read. It's going to be a little bit later on. Just like I said there, a re-engagement message at the footer of the email. So we've noticed it's been a while. Okay. Noticed I haven't visited in a while. It's been a while. I like that one. We wanted to remind you. There we go. Add to body content. Very nice. So we could have our intro, some images, and of course, towards the bottom, if you are a re-engaging customer, we could then say, it's been a while since we've seen you. Very cool. So I've jumped back into the Einstein Copy Insight settings, and I thought I'd try some brand new custom brand personalities. As you can see, I did try to make a Matthew McConaughey and a Yoda personality, hoping that we would get some tones, or at least some of their language coming through in the brand identity, but unfortunately it's not coming through very strongly. So you probably can't use identifiable personalities when it comes to your brand personality. But what we can do though, is go back through and edit and make a new one, maybe a bit more generic about our branding. Let's make a new custom personality. This one's going to be a energetic personality. So you can say, 
energetic sales personality. This one's going to be high energy, very excited and keen to show off all the exciting features of our products. All right, let's try and use this high energy, very excited and keen to show off the exciting feature. Let's try and use this one to really put some flavor behind our personality. So we have a brand new energetic sales personality. Let's go save. When that one's saved, we'll jump back into our content builder. And let's use our brand new text block here and go create. For create, we then jump in and make our personality, not McConaughey or Yoda. Let's go energetic sales personality. So email about an upcoming 20% off sale on winter hiking gear. All right, let's leave the sample body blank and we'll go got it and see if it can generate us a nice intro with a really energetic tone. Let's see what it comes back with. All right, an avid hiker, either way, you won't miss out. Okay, a bit more, yeah, exclamation marks. A three reward experience, that's excited, that's for sure. Ready to hit the trails this winter? Make sure you're prepared with our selection of winter hiking gear. Now 20% off. Definitely more energetic. It's not as casual or as professional as the previous two, so you can definitely add some flavor with that custom brand personality. All right, very cool. Let's choose that one, I think. We'll go add the body. And there we are. Just like that, we can start to build out our brand new email with some really well articulated brand messaging with our custom personalities. Very cool. And that'll do it for this video on the brand new generative AI features in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. Hope you enjoyed this quick overview. And if you have, please let me know in the comments below and with a big thumbs up on the video. And don't forget that you can subscribe to the channel so that you're notified when I release more Salesforce Marketing Cloud content.